War is defined as a state of armed conflict between different nations, states, or groups within a nation or state. Is war really the right way to solve disputes, or are there alternatives to the often devastating effects of war? With weapon technology advancing, warfare is becoming a growing global issue. But before we cover that, we must explain the reasons to start a war. Economic Gain Often wars are caused by one country's wish to take control of another country's wealth. Whatever the other reasons for a war may be, there is almost always an economic motive underlying most conflicts, even if the stated aim of the war is presented to the public as something more noble. Territorial Gain A country might decide that it needs more land, either for living space, agricultural use, or other purposes. Territory can also be used as buffer zones between two hostile enemies. Religion Religious conflicts often have very deep roots. They can lie dormant for decades, only to re-emerge in a flash at a later date. Religious wars can often be tied to other reasons for conflict, such as nationalism or revenge for a perceived historical slight in the past. Nationalism Nationalism in this context essentially means attempting to prove that your country is superior to another by violent subjugation. This often takes the form of an invasion. Revenge Seeking to punish or simply strike back for a perceived slight can often be a factor in the waging of a war. Revenge also relates to nationalism, as the people of a country which has been wronged are motivated to fight back by pride and spirit. Civil War these generally take place when there is an intense internal disagreement within a country. The disagreement can be about who rules, how the country should be run, or the people's rights. This internal problems result in violent conflict between two or more opposing groups. Revolutionary War These occur when a huge section of the population of a country revolts against the individual or group that governs the country because they are extremely upset with their leadership. Defensive War In the modern world, where military aggression is more widely used, countries will often argue that they are fighting in a purely defensive intent against an aggressor, or potential aggressor, and that therefore the war is considered just. What we have to ask ourselves is do these reasons justify the thousands, if not millions, of lives lost in the process of war? Historical War War has been used to settle conflict for over 4,500 years and continues to be a way to solve disputes and express superiority over other nations. The first war in recorded history took place in Mesopotamia, located in the Middle East, in 2700 BCE between Summer and Elam. The Sumerians, under command of the king of Kish, Enme Baragese, defeated the Elamites in this war, and, it is recorded, carried away as spoils the weapons of Elam. The Napoleonic Wars provoked by the French Revolution of 1789 were a series of wars declared against Napoleon's French Empire by opposing forces in Europe, but with the 1812 Russian invasion turning into a disaster and taking 6.5 million lives, France came to a defeat. The First World War was fought from 1914 to 1918 claiming 17 million lives. It resulted in the victory of Britain, France, and Russia over Germany, Italy, Austria, and Hungary. The League of Nations was formed after the First World War, but it failed to ensure world peace, and eventually World War II was fought. World War II began in Europe on September 1, 1939, when Germany invaded Poland. 
Great Britain and France responded by declaring war on Germany on September 3rd. World War II was the deadliest conflict in history, with over 70 million fatalities, and it is the only war to have used nuclear weapons till date. The Effects of War An important point to address when speaking about war is the effects it has on the civilian population and the men and women fighting in the war. During most wars, women and children suffer unspeakable atrocities in particular. In the past decade, up to 2 million of those killed in armed conflicts were children. Present-day internal wars generally take a larger toll on civilians than state wars. This is due to the increasing trend where combatants have made targeting civilians a strategic objective. War creates extensive emotional and psychological issues for soldiers involved in the war. Often these soldiers get PTSD. The labor force is also affected in a multitude of ways, most often due to the drastic loss of life, movement of refugees, and displacement and the destruction of infrastructure. Oftentimes, when a country is in an economic crisis during war, there is an increase in poverty which results in the decline of education and other social programs. War usually results in the mass destruction of cities, which has long-lasting effects on a country's economy. The use of extreme weaponry may cause homes to be destroyed or areas of the country unsafe to live in, causing displacement or forced migration. War affects government structures along with the people in power of the government. Many times, one regime is moved and new forms of government are put into place. There are many modern wars, some civil and some multinational but all are extremely detrimental to the country and its citizens, causing huge death tolls with today's military technology, as well as extreme damage to the country's infrastructure. A war in today's age is not favorable for anyone involved. Yemeni Crisis The Yemeni Crisis began with the 2011 revolution against President Ali Abdullah Saleh, who had led Yemen for more than three decades. After Saleh left office in early 2012 as part of a mediated agreement between the Yemeni government and opposition groups, the government, led by Saleh's former vice president, Abdullah Mansur Hadi, struggled to unite the fractious political landscape of the country and fend off threats from both Al-Qaeda in the Arabian Peninsula and the Houthi militants that had been waging a protracted insurgency in the north for years. India-Pakistan Standoff India and Pakistan are engaged in an ongoing military confrontation across the de facto border in Kashmir, a disputed region which is claimed by both countries. The heightened tensions stemmed from a suicide car bombing carried out on February 14, 2019, in which 40 Indian security personnel were killed. A Pakistan-based militant group, Jaish e Mohammed claimed responsibility for the attack. India blamed Pakistan for the bombing and promised a robust response. India has regularly accused Pakistan of utilizing militants to destabilize Indian administered Kashmir. War in Donbass The war in Donbass is an armed conflict in the Donbass region of Ukraine. From the beginning of March 2014, protests by pro-Russian and anti-government groups took place in Donetsk and Luhansk oblasts of Ukraine in the aftermath of the 2014 Ukrainian Revolution and the Euro Maiden movement. These demonstrations, which followed the annexation of Crimea by the Russian Federation, escalated into an armed conflict between the Ukrainian government and the separatist forces of the self-declared Donetsk and Luhansk People's Republics supported by Russia. South Sudanese Civil War The South Sudanese Civil War is an ongoing conflict in South Sudan between forces of the government and opposition forces. In December 2013, President Kiir accused his former deputy, Riek Mashar, and ten others of attempting a coup d'etat. Fighting broke out between the Sudan People's Liberation Movement and the Sudan People's Liberation Movement in opposition, igniting the civil war. Ugandan and Egyptian troops were deployed to fight alongside the South Sudanese government. 
the United Nations also had peacekeepers in the country as part of the United Nations mission in South Sudan. The Sudan People's Liberation Movement in opposition is supported by the Sudanese government and other various militias. Syrian Civil War The Syrian Civil War is an ongoing multi-sided armed conflict in Syria fought between the Ba'athist Syrian Arab Republic, led by President Bashir al-Assad, along with Hezbollah, Iran, and Russia against various domestic and foreign forces opposing the Syrian government. Nuclear Warfare The only nuclear bombs ever dropped were in World War II on Hiroshima and Nagasaki in Japan. The effects were devastating, seeing over 200,000 deaths and almost 70% of infrastructure was destroyed. Not to mention the lasting radiation caused increasing rates of cancer and other chronic diseases. The bombs were dropped over 70 years ago, and nuclear technology has done nothing but advance over the years, and now there are over 15,000 nukes. With more and more countries gaining access to nuclear weapons, it will result in loss of lives and destruction of the environment, not excluding long-term radiation in some areas. Warfare has been a way for humans to resolve disputes and satisfy greed for many decades. Though there are immense consequences resulting from war, such as loss of human life, incredible damage to infrastructure, and other long-term effects on the men and women who survive a war. Although wars cause huge damage, there are reasons behind the destruction, such as the need for economic and territorial gain, assimilation, nationalism, and revolutionary change within a country. From what can be seen, the negatives outweigh the positives in the majority of wars, and should be a last resort if disputes cannot be solved diplomatically.